Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some Horns basketball plays that use a baseline cut to get players open for a three-point shot. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so first in this play, what we're going to be having is player five setting a screen for player one. Player one is going to be using that screen. At the same exact time, we're going to be having player three cutting across the baseline and setting a screen for player two. Player two is going to be using that screen. He's going to be cutting baseline and popping out towards this three-point line. He can be open pretty well anywhere in that area, so he doesn't necessarily need to be able to shoot the three-point shot. He would be also able and possibly be able to take a close shot mid-range whatever it may be so if you're running this at younger age groups they can go and use the mid-range shot as well or just maybe pull up just outside of the key and do like a baby hook in whatever it may be anyways from there if he's not open and player two got through player one got through player five rolled towards the basket he may be open for a layup if he's not open for a layup what we're going to be having is player four setting a screen down for player three who's going to be popping up player five is going to be clearing to get out of the key and player one is going to be then able to pass to player three for a three-point shot number one option is player two in this area secondary is player three at the three-point line now this next basketball play, what we're going to be having is player four setting a screen down for player two. Player two is going to be using that screen. Player five and three are going to be going down into the low post and setting up a, a double a wall screen or a staggered screen for player two. Player two is going to be using that screen. He's going to be cutting out the baseline and he's going to be popping out towards the three point line for the three point shot. Now, this is a nice quick play, so if you're in like a transition offense where you may be going five on four, this is also a, a great set play to run if you're in that situation. And it does get lots of players open three-point shots along that side. Now, for a against a 3-2 zone, you can still use these screens and the, these plays. So if we have a 3-2 zone, we still set up in horns. Now, what we could do is have player five set a screen out here, a lob pass over to player two for the three. That's always an option where we would have player one dribble out towards the side, lob pass over to player two, which would then pull player five out. This could be a three-point shot for player two. Player five could roll towards the basket as a secondary option. All of these are options that can happen. Now, if Let's say, for example, we actually want to run a set type play. This is one, one of the plays that you can run. Now, first, what we're going to be having is player two. He's going to be setting a screen for player five, and player five is going to be setting up a, a screen for player two. Player one is going to dribble over towards this side, and we're going to be having player three. He's going to be cutting across the baseline and popping out towards this corner where player one could pass him the ball for that three-point shot. Now... Something else that you can do out of the 3-2 as well is again a very simple play and with this play what we're going to be having is player 4 setting a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to be using that screen and now the defense is going to be shifting over like this. Now from there what we're going to be doing is having player 1 pass over to player 3 and we're going to be having player 5 move down towards that low block. Now we've essentially created a triangle in a way we have other players on the court we have possible overload here but we're looking to run some baseline cuts so what we're going to be doing here is having player one and four switch out which would then draw the defense away just a bit so player four can get that ball and now we've moved the defense the zone defense over towards this right side so what we're going to be doing now is having player 2 come in, set a screen for player 5. Player 4 can either have player 1 screen or we can just swing the ball around, whatever it may be. And player 3 is going to be cutting baseline, cutting across the baseline. He's going to be popping out towards this side. Now, 
with the defense all shifted over towards that right side, if we can swing this ball fast enough and have player 2 and 5 screen with this fast enough swing and a baseline cut, player 3 should be wide open for that 3-point shot. Now I'm going to show you one play against a 2-3 zone. So, with the 2-3 zone, what we're going to be doing is having player 4. He's going to be setting a screen for player 1. Player 1 is going to be using that screen, and that's going to be drawing player 4 up to player 1. Now, in a regular zone, the zone bubbles are like this. So this would be a double team. So player 1 is still going to try and fight around, but we're going to be in single or possible double coverage with player 1. Either way, player 4 is going to be away from the baseline because while this is happening here, we're also going to be having player 2 going down to the low post. Wherever player 5 is, we're going to be setting that screen. Player 5 is also going to be setting a screen down for player 3. Now, meanwhile, player 3 blue, he's going to be cutting baseline and popping out. Now, with this double team or possible single coverage up top, we're going to be now having player 3 wide open for that 3-point shot. Now I hope that these plays help your team win more games. If they do, let us know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.